بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآل الطيبين الطاهرين وصحبه المنتجبين to be jealous is very severely condemned in Islam and I think in any moral system hasad is very destructive Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala criticized the people who are envious towards other people when they see Allah has given them something good they feel jealous am yahsudun an-nas ala ma atahum Allah min fadli this is not a right approach if someone has been given something good if someone has achieved something good if someone has worked hard to be a, for example very good student very good businessman very good husband very good father very good mother we should not feel bad why they have been given this yes we can feel bad why i have not worked hard to become like them this is called ghibta ghibta is a quality of mu'min but hasad is a quality of a person who is weak in his faith or has no faith ghibta is that when i see something good in people i am not feeling bad i am happy that alhamdulillah there are people who are successful and i ask allah to make me also successful i try to myself work harder and pray to allah to make me successful this is good but if i want those people to lose that good quality or gift that they have this is bad so sometimes there are people who don't bother whether they have whether they have something uh, like that quality or not they are just concerned why another person that they feel is their rival competitor why he has that quality why he has that success why he has good children why he has you know good wife good husband good house good job uh, reputation respect to the extent that sometimes they are happy to harm themselves but making sure that the other person loses that quality there are examples that you know you can find the books on akhlaq that how sometimes people even try to lose their life and then put the blame on another person so that they think that that person would be trouble so hasad is a very negative quality and according to our hadith al hasadu ya'kulu al hasanat kama ta'kulu an nar al hatab like fire that burns wood hasad burns and consumes all the good actions so we have to be very careful why i feel jealous allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has enough to give that person and give me it's not that if allah has given to him he cannot give me allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is wise i shouldn't question Allah why he has given that person such a good thing if i really want to be progressing i want to be given those good things i don't need to be jealous i can ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give me the same indeed one of the good qualities of a mu'min is that always wishes good for other people whenever you want something first want it for other people because as you know when you pray to Allah to give something to another person then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also would give you the same or more so instead of being jealous try to always ask Allah to give other people what you want for yourself this is very important quality so we should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for whatever good he has given to anyone and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us if according to his wisdom according to the way that he knows the interest of everyone if he feels that also it's good if i have been i will be given also that we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give that and in all circumstances for sure 
we would be pleased with whatever Allah decides and plans and gives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to overcome this negative quality of jealousy and be always, inshallah, grateful and thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين